What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and I'm back with the True Blood Lamborghini and I'm also joined here with Jack from Ezekiel Gaming HD and his Rose Gold Nissan GTR wrapped by Yanimize. And today, it is a wonderful day here in the UK. I've just come back from Gran Canaria where it was 28 degrees and it is now about 10 degrees raining and grey which is very typical my car's already filthy but we are going to be heading into central london it is going to be the first time that i take my car into central london although this is being filmed on a monday i'm not expecting there to be too many car spotters around but we are going to hunt down a mclaren convoy thanks to sam from seen through glass and racing driver oliver webb we have been told that there is a mclaren 570s convoy driving through the center of london today so what we're going to be doing in our two cars that probably accumulate to over 1,000 brake horsepower. We're going to try and track down these four brand new McLaren 570s's, hopefully catch them on the road, get some really cool filming shots, hear what they sound like on the road, and hopefully have a lot of fun. Even though the weather is pretty poor, we're going to have a lot of fun today. So let's jump in the cars. He's got army tricks. I've got army tricks. Let's make some noise. So I am happy to be back on YouTube and I suppose I apologize for the lack of activity across Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. The last seven days I did not have a camera, I did not have a laptop. It was a really, really nice time to just relax right before Christmas. And now let's get into the final days building up to Christmas. I've already filmed a video today, which I'm gonna be editing later on this evening as well. And there's gonna be a modification to my car. And um, I'm very, very excited about the next two weeks that are happening on the Supercars of London YouTube channel. But today, today we have got a McLaren 570 Convoy from the brand new McLaren dealership in McLaren Ascot. Now, the new McLaren 570 is a really interesting car. It is the baby McLaren, or what they call the Sport Series. Even though it's the baby, it's bigger than the 650S. The dimensions are bigger than the 650S. And it is a stunning car. It looks so good. And for the price point that it is, £140,000, plus options, which will take out to £165,000. It's in the realms of the brand new Audi R8 V10 Plus, kind of just above the AMG GT, and it's going on towards the 488. And McLaren really tried to claim that it's a, it's a sports car, the 570S. They also do the 540C, which is a cheaper version and a slightly detuned version. The 570S comes with a detuned 650S engine and obviously the power output is 570. It is a beautiful, beautiful car and I can't wait to see it on public roads, the final production example. Deliveries are starting to happen, McLaren dealerships are starting to get their demonstrators in. We saw a pre-production version at Goodwood. If we heard it, it is by far the best sounding McLaren that McLaren have ever produced. Just before we get onto the motorway, we've got an underpass. <laughs> and I need to close the window because I'm getting wet. I didn't hear Jack's car at all. <laughs> Take a quick detour because it's on the way to 
the Heathrow Heathrow Tunnel to Terminal 3. exhaust system, Jack's GTR has got the full decap, manifolds, headers, back bolts and everything. I always get confused. up on the cars and my car after leaving Dub Customs on a Thursday, I think I left on a Thursday, the day after, it was filthy, so I need to find somewhere to give it a wash, which is likely to be an SB Race Engineering, but anyway, it just proves that even though the weather is awful, there are still dri uh, supercars driving around, which is a promising sign. I've got the dash cam set up. We are now heading in towards Knightsbridge and I'm excited. I can't remember the last time that I was in Knightsbridge. So basically what I'm gonna do now is talk whilst the camera is pointing the other way. And I was supposed to be here yesterday, which was Sunday. And the reason that I didn't make it in because as um, well, people of London know, that on the weekends in December, building up to Christmas, it is the worst time to think about driving any car. A smart car, was that a flash? That speed camera just flashed. No, I don't even think anything went past it. But it's pretty awful to drive around um, in London, especially in this car. It's got zero parking sensors, not great visibility, and the e-gear system, of course, is a single clutch semi-automatic gearbox. It's just not as smooth as the double clutch. The traffic coming this way absolutely sucks. I think we're going to be a bit lucky here. Or are we? Come on, bus. It's so nerve-wracking when you're coming into London. You've got a few people with their phones out taking pictures, as you probably saw right there. Um, and there's just so much going on. There is just so much going on. You've got people coming from this way. You've got people coming from that way. You've got cars. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely, you have to be 100% concentrating when you're driving in London. There's cars reversing, doing all sorts. It's raining. It's bumpy. <laughs> we have got the wonderful Sloan Street, everyone, on a Monday. Zebra Crossing. But we've also got the Christmas decorations. look pretty cool. No surprise that there's no supercars, but there is a Rolls-Royce ghost here 
on the right, which obviously the guy's got a LaFerrari or a McLaren P1 or something at home, but he didn't want to drive it. Typical. So it's a bit of the waiting game now. Hunting these cars isn't as easy as I probably thought originally. Driving in London, you just can't fit through half the gaps. Everyone's in a rush. And there's tight, tight gaps. running in the road. This is just, I get why people say, why do you drive cars like that in London? You just need a smart car in London. That's all you need. Certainly not a Range Rover like that. <laughs> and I'm not going to get down that gap. There is a flatbed lorry there, which is not giving me a big enough gap. So we've been parked up for 10 minutes or so. I'm going to turn the music down quickly. And um, these McLarens are proving very, very difficult to find. So we're going to be back on the move and back on the hunt for these McLarens because I really want to see them. But the traffic in London, the weather, nothing is in our favour today. I'm in a big, big dilemma. Around this time, okay, so I've just spoken to Sam from Seen Through Glass. He's told me that you cannot film in the UK now past two o'clock because the lighting is just awful, which is true. The lighting is awful. The dilemma that I have is do I carry on with the hunt and get awful footage of the cars at night time? They're just going to be in traffic because traffic starts building. I'm starting to feel disheartened. What's the word? I'm starting to feel down. I'm starting to feel down that we haven't found them in the daylight. And my dilemma is do I hang around? sit in two hours of traffic in central London to wait for the McLaren, McLarens, or do I bail now and not get stuck in traffic on the way home? The lighting's going, it's great, it's wet, it's just a nightmare. I thought this was gonna be a really fun video in the sun. We we're gonna have McLaren sparkling under the sun rays in the United Kingdom, driving, making fantastic exhaust notes. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure that's what Sam filmed this morning as he went to McLaren Ascot to catch them leaving. And then he joined the convoy there. So what I'm going to do is ask him very, 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 very nicely if I can use some of his clips from his video that he's going to be putting out in a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of days. I'm not entirely too sure what his video schedule is. So that is what I'm gonna do. <laughs>
Stand behind it? Yeah. Alright. Yep. <laughs> Ready? Yep. <laughs>